A cylindrical tank with its axis vertical is 1.8 meters high and 0.9 meter in diameter. It is held together by two steel hoops, one at the top and the other at the bottom, which resists the entire bursting stress. It contains milk tea of specific weight 10.05 kN per cubic meter to a depth of 1.2 meters. The remaining space is air, subjected to a pressure of 30 kPa. The allowable tensile stress is 75 MPa. Determine the safe diameter of the hoops to the nearest mm. So this is the situation. We have a tank 0.9 meter in diameter, 1.8 meters high. The lower 1.2 meter depth is filled with melty, specific weight 10.05 kilonewtons per cubic meter, and the upper 0.6 meter layer is air subjected to 30 kilopascals uh, pressure, gauge pressure, of course. So we draw the body diagram including the pressure diagram so we have two tension on the upper hoop two tension on the bottom hoop this is the pressure diagram and density of pressure here is 30 kilopascals then let's call the force as f1 acting of course half of 1.8.9 above 0.9 below then f2 one third of 1.2 is 0.4 below then 1.4 above then let's call this P. P is specific weight of milk tea times 1.2. 10.05 times 1.2 is 12.06 kilopascals. F1, therefore, is equal to volume of this pressure diagram. So 30 times 1.8 times perpendicular to the board point 9. 30, 1.8.9. 48.6 kilonewtons. F2 is one half of B, one half or 0.5 of joule 0.06 times height 1.2 times perpendicular to the board 0.9. So F2 is 6.512 kilonewtons. So summation moments about the bottom hoop equals zero. So 2 T sub U 1.8 equals F1 at 48.6 times 0.9 plus F2, 6.512 times 0.4. Solving for T sub U, 12.87 kilonewtons. Then let's convert this to newtons times 1,000, then equate to allowable tensile stress of the hoops times area, pi over 4 diameter of the upper hoop square. So 12.87 times 1,000 equals 75 times pi over 4 diameter upper hoop square. So we compute the upper 14.78 mm. So we use 15 mm diameter in the upper hoops. Then for the bottom hoop, summation moment about moments about the upper hoop equals zero. So two tension in the bottom hoop times 1.8 equals F1 48.6 times 0.9 plus F2 6.512 times 1.4. Solving for tension in the bottom hoop, 14.68 kilonewtons. Then times 1,000 equate to 75 pi over 4 times diameter of the bottom hoop square. So we get diameter in the bottom hoop, 15.79 mm. So we use 16 mm diameter for the bottom hoop. So that's it.